Dr. Lauber, yes. Hey, how are you tonight? Good, thanks. Yeah, I know, I understand you're calling about the show. And I know we've been struggling recently, but I have a lot of faith in my crew tonight that we will get the show on by 10 p.m. Okay. So uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do here at IUP TV. Uh, sure. Uh, I'm Mike Castro. I'm the producer slash director here at, at The Big Hit. And we're a sports show. I mean, we have a small crew, uh, seven or eight people. We're supposed to film every Tuesday night and have the show on by 10. But recently, we have not been able to meet that deadline. And Dr. Logger has said many times, if we don't get this show on a 10, he's taking us off the air for good. Okay. Yeah, I know Pat. He, he's been up and down lately. Uh, I mean, he had his best show uh, at the beginning of the semester, but ever since then, he's really been struggling. But I think he overprepared tonight. He's definitely ready to put on by far his best show of the semester. All right. We'll have it to you by 10, Dr. Lauber. Thank you very much. Yeah, right. Pat! Host! Hey, Pat! Wake up, buddy. Come on, man. We're on in five minutes. What are you doing? Let's go. You ready? Um, yeah, man. I'm always ready. Sure you are. Oh, God. All get, right. get in there. All right. He knows I'm always ready. I can do his job and my job with one hand tied behind my back. Come on. What are you doing? Where you guys been? What are you doing? Chill, dude. You know we're always prepared. Chill? Prepared? Prepared to talk about what, Jess? What are you talking about? Hockey, baseball, little golf. Okay, just get in your positions. Dr. Lauber says we need to have the show on time tonight. We're getting it in on time. Are you serious? Right now? What? Tim, are you fixing your hair? Yeah, man. I gotta look fresh at all times. You never know what's gonna happen. Tim, you're not even on camera. You're behind camera. You know, Mike just doesn't understand having epically great hair. Just don't get it, man. Go! Just get out of here, Tim. Get in your position, Uncle Jesse. We gotta do a show. Tim Quigley. <laughs> wow, Tim Quigley. I mean, thank goodness he's not covering a Nathan's hot dog eating contest, or it'd be tough to keep him uh, behind the camera. Someone's gonna crawl in the room and choke me at night. I know that's why I'm a concerned. I can't. Uh, I, I have to go. Okay, we'll talk about this later. I just thank you. Okay, bye. You have to get messy here. Look at it right now. You I have to get. It. always comes to me with with her problems. But the funny part is, these problems, they're not really problems. They're, they're like privileges. Oh. Adrian, I'll buy you a poodle if you just get on set. Really? Please. Yes. Maybe. Probably not, actually. But just get on set. We film in five minutes. I'll get a poodle. <laughs> I just can't wait to have a brand new poodle. Mike said he'll buy it for me. I'm so excited. Adrian, I want to... Stab my eyes out with hot needles when you talk. Thanks for being in your position. Alex, are you serious? Is that Spanish on the teleprompter? Is that an English to Spanish dictionary? See, si, amigo, it's about to be no, sicker no. de mayo. I, I don't care what it's about to be. I, I'll give you some Spanish. Enfoque. Enough. It means focus. Alex is so ignorant and oblivious to everything going on, it actually makes me feel better about myself. I like having Alex around for that purpose. Everybody needs to be focused on the task at hand, which is getting the show in on time tonight. You know, it's funny that Dr. Lauber even uses the word crew uh, around our crew because uh, they're a group of clowns. I mean, they, sh they should be in the circuits. They should be teaching monkeys how to hula hoop. I mean, they're irresponsible. They're indecisive. They're never on time. 
I wish I could just throw the show and get my whole crew replaced. All right, guys, we're on 30. All you ready? Yeah, we're good. TD, you ready? Ready. Prompt, are you ready? See. <laughs> Cameraman, are you ready down there? Okay, Tyler, ready? All right. Mike's being really crappy today. Crabby? That's the... Ugh, that doesn't even begin to describe it. He's PMSing worse than I do. Alright, we're rolling. In five, four, three, two, one. Hola, and welcome to the big hit. Me llamo es Patricio. Cut. I thought I told you to change the teleprompter. Lo siento, senor. Pat. What was that? What is wrong with you? Well, what? That's the prompter's fault. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that little spin. You well, did. Well, I, I mean, we always do the, the yeah. beginning of the show the same way. It's, it gets boring for our viewers. Mark. Pat, do it like you've always done, and let's continue this and get it in on time. All right, all right, all right. See? Doesn't that add some dramatic effect? Yeah, I mean, Pat's a good host uh, when he wants to be. He's so he's been trying to do this chair spin for the longest time, and I just don't understand it. I mean, it looks like the kid has Tourette's. Mike doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't know how to entertain our audience week after week. You gotta switch it up. You gotta add some movement. Me, just behind the desk, really doesn't showcase all my abilities. I'm a versatile talent. He's gotta get that through his head. In hockey news this week, the Penguins win in Game 6, beating Adrian. Tampa Bay 4-3. to Adrian. The Flyers have a Game 6 Adrian. tomorrow, and Over they here. will lose. And anyway, the, like I said, the Flyers will lose tomorrow's game. I never know what camera to look at, you know, when, they, when we're on air. Oh, oh this one. Anyway, I, I mean, whenever they tell me they should have, like, this red light, I just, you know, you would think by now they would tell me that the day before the show. It's, it's so much easier if they would have told me that it makes sense. Like, right now, look at it. It's red. It's lit. I know which camera to look into. Did she really say that? We tell her every week to look for the red button. She did not say that. Good. She did? you got to be kidding me. And that's our show for tonight. Thanks for watching to all you folks at home, and be sure to catch next week's episode of The Big Hit. Same time, same station. We'll be going over the NBA and NHL playoffs. I'm your host, Pat Donahue. Good night. All right. Roll credits. We're done. Shout out to all my homies. Are you serious right now, Jess? Was that you? No, it wasn't me. You know, I, I don't even care. To be honest with you, I just have to get this tape and get it in on time. So, uh, um, guys, this, this has been a really hectic day, and uh, I screwed up pretty bad. What do you mean? What did you, what did you screw up? Well, guys, it just so happens that I never actually pressed record, so all that was for nothing. There is no show. It's all my fault. We're going to get taken off the air. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me you didn't press record? No, nah, no, nah, Mike never hit record. So I stood behind a camera for an hour for nothing? Thanks for blowing that one wide open, Mike. What am I supposed to use for my portfolio now? Good job. We had a good time. Should have just listened to my Spanish ideas. No bueno. Isn't that ironic? Mike goes around all day telling us how we're not in position, how we're not doing our jobs, yet he can't even do something as simple as press a button. Really dropped the ball on this one. I mean, what a hypocrite. Can't stand that guy anymore. You know, I'm actually glad that Mike ruined the show today because, you know what, I didn't like working for him and this talent, this face, better off somewhere else.
Yes, yeah, Dr. Lauber. Hey, uh, uh, yeah, we did not get the show on, in on time tonight. I know, I know. Probably gonna take us off the air. But first, wait, I have an idea. So, I guess my plan worked. Uh, I, I intentionally did not hit record so that we would not get the show in on time tonight and Dr. Law would have no other choice but to cancel our show. So, the bad news is there's no more big hit. The good news is there is now a big skit. It is an improv show starring me, Mike DeCastro. We're going to start filming next Tuesday. I pitched the idea to Dr. Lauber, said I was going to be the director and the producer, and we're going to get a completely, entirely different crew. And you know what? He loved it. Bye, Adrian. Adios, Alex. We'll see you next Tuesday at the premiere of The Big Skit.